2020 was a tumultuous ride on life's roller coaster. We thought our turn on the ride was over when 2019 ended, but it turns out our tickets are for unlimited, unending rides. Boy, were we in for a surprise. We began the year with a cancer follow-up visit in Mexico and were elated to receive the great news that Emily's tumor was shrinking after countless hours of treatment and incredible discipline. We breathed a grateful sigh of relief and many thanks to God and soon felt that it was time to sell our home of nearly seven years. Uncertain what twists and turns the next bend would deliver, we began looking at options for our next home and where it would be located. Nothing felt quite right until we considered renovating a school bus and continuing our travels, wild as it seemed. While the world seemed to scream as we plummeted down a brand new roller coaster freefall called COVID, we threw our arms in the air with a few moments of panic and climbed aboard a jet for another wild trip, this time to buy a bus. Our first bus adventure was a bouncy ride through freezing clouds and snow in the middle of the night without heat. We made it home to the kids and laughed our way through the ups and downs that followed and cried hand in hand when we were overwhelmed by the ride. We readjusted as unexpected bumps came our way and were bummed when yoga, basketball, church, and school were canceled. We thrust our energy into building a bus and survived 70 home showings and finally bid farewell to the home we loved so well. We were ready for adventure, but our bus wasn't yet. So we had to sit tight and buckle up at grandma and grandpa's while some mechanical issues needed mending. Once on the road at last, we were thrilled to bring our sweet Lucky along on our travels this time. Although we're not so sure how lucky she felt about it and were devastated when she decided to leave without saying goodbye and climb the delicate arch without us. Wherever she is, we pray that she's safe and we miss her each day. After two more stable cancer follow-ups, the ride slowed pace, so we swam in lakes in our underwear, watched for wild animals outside our front door, and followed in the footsteps of the mighty dinosaurs. We made the world our classroom and playground and floated tinfoil boats on Lake Mead, took surfing lessons on the fire wave and played duck duck jeep at recess. We breathed in the beautiful scenery and welcomed the world with an embrace and occasionally with tears on our face. We're happy to live simple, grateful to travel, and most of all grateful to be alive and together. Our hearts are full of thanks for all those who have loved, supported, and served us with such grace. There's no doubt 2020 was an unforgettable ride Let's make 2021 a year we'll always treasure and remember. Let's tell the world. Let's tell the world. Let's tell the world. It all comes back around. It feels so good. So good. To be alive. Up hills and over mountains. They're blowing far and wide. It all comes back around. It feels so good. So good. Do I like pee or poop? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Poop or pee? Say pick. Pick. <laughs> I got a pick? Yeah. Um. I bet mom likes poop. <laughs>